Should you make repairs or improvements to your home as you get ready to bring it to market and sell it? Hi, I'm Jamie with Reese Homes, and today we're going to explore the ROI, the pros and the cons to making these kind of repairs and improvements. So join me and we'll get you the information that you need to have a successful sale. If you're thinking of selling your home in the near future, you should know in today's market, buyers are a bit more cash strapped than they have been in the past. The combination of higher home prices and higher interest rates mean buyers are tending to put a higher down payment and pay a bit more in closing costs to help lower their monthly payment in today's environment. This means that many buyers have less cash after closing to do repairs and improvements to a home. And in turn, this means buyers are tending to prefer homes that are more turnkey. So how can you integrate these market trends into your strategy to get the best price and results for your home sale? Well, let's talk about that. The first and most important step in your listing process is a pre-listing meeting that happens weeks or even months prior to listing your home. In this meeting, a broker will walk through the home with you, understand all of its attributes and the areas of where it might be able to be improved, and then have a good discussion with you on how they can help you find the best return on investment in whatever time, money, and energy that you invest in preparing the home for market. At the conclusion of your pre-listing meeting, there will be a list of improvements to consider. Most of these improvements are going to fall into one of two categories, cosmetic or maintenance. Now, cosmetic improvements are typically all about bringing the property to the modern aesthetic that is appealing to the greatest uh, part of the market. And these improvements tend to be much more optional than the maintenance improvements. The maintenance improvements, depending on what they are, are typically things that buyers will want you to handle prior to um, them purchasing the property. The the truth is buyers really don't want to have a to-do list about just bringing the property up to proper operation and, and status, right? They would like, if they're going to invest money and time, in making the home a bit more their own in terms of style and such. And so if you hand them to-do lists, they're generally going to want to uh, have a premium on there, get a discount for having to go through that work. So what we find is we tend to focus much of our work on the area where you get the highest ROI, which is those maintenance and repair items that might have been deferred over time. One advantage of tackling these maintenance projects prior to listing the home is that you will get to control the nature of how those projects are done. Most buyers simply want to have these projects complete. And if they're completed prior to the buyer seeing the property and everything is functional and looks good and operates well, well, then the buyer is going to accept that. On the other side, if the buyer finds uh, deficiencies through the inspection, they're generally going to want to have a solution that might be a higher quality or higher cost than what you might be able to get the project done with prior to listing the property. So by being proactive, not only can you expand the pool of buyers that will be interested in your property, you can also get a higher return on investment when it comes to making those projects happen because you can control the cost and get the same sort of appeal on buyers on the purchase side as you would if you had to negotiate it through an inspection. So whether you're looking at selling your property next week, next month, or even a year or two from now, a pre-listing meeting can be a valuable tool in helping you plan and prepare to get the best results in the market. If you'd like to have a pre-listing meeting with myself or any of our associates here at Reese Homes, please give us a call, send us an email, and we'd be happy to spend a half an hour with you walking you through the home and giving you a better idea on where you'll get the best return on investment in improving your home for sale, whether it's tomorrow or three years in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.